last time we did exterior walls and that was pretty straightforward. Today I want to do interior walls. This is where I lose most people. This is where everybody goes off the ranch. So try to stay with me and hopefully we'll be successful. Now the exterior walls, remember we drew the whole way around the house. We completely ignored windows and doors. We just drew right through them. We're going to do the same thing on the interior walls. For some reason when everybody hits these doors they want to stop and leave a gap. Don't do that. Okay. Now the easiest way to draw our interior walls is going to be with the rectangle tool. Um, it's not always the most accurate if we wanted to get perfect measurements, but at this point, for most of you, for most of our purposes here, we don't really need to worry about that. Now one way you can use the rectangle tool is just start in the corner. This way we don't get a wall sandwich, and we click and let go. We come out, and we let our smart guides tell us where to go. We're completely ignoring the fact that this plan underneath is a little off of our plan on top. We're not keeping it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it's, it's better to line these walls up than to have a weird disjointed thing going on down here. Once again, I'm going to click in the corner so that we don't have a wall sandwich. And we'll pull down to there, try to keep those walls equal. And we'll click again and let go. And there we go. We can use this same technique here to make the uh, wall surround for this shower. Click let go, pull it out, click again. Click let go, pull it out, click again. Notice none of these walls are doubled up. There's no like wall laying against the wall. That's what I meant by a wall sandwich. Now you can also use the rectangle tool just to make the wall. We can click, let go, and come out to about here and click again and that'll make that little wall divider there if we want it. We can do the same thing over here. We just bring the wall right across. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring that wall the whole way across there even though there's an opening there. I'm going to ignore the opening. We'll put that opening in later or we'll just knock that wall out. That'll make it much easier to come down here and do this wall dividing off the garage. It's nice to have something to hook it to and not have to worry about it. And there we go. So now in here, we can use the rectangle tool to make the walls, or we can use the rectangle tool to make rooms. I'm going to go ahead and make this big room area right here by clicking on that wall, letting go, coming out here and clicking again. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and do the same thing. And we'll work on this little bathroom, powder room, water closet, whatever you want to call it. And there, that part's all squared away. Now we have a wall right here that we need to deal with. Click let go. Click let go. I don't know why it didn't want to line up with that. If you ever do something in SketchUp and you don't like it, just hold Control and hit Z to undo. And hopefully you can get things lined up the way you want them. Again, perfection is not as important as keeping everything plumb and straight. Here we can use the rectangle tool. Come right out here into this area to make that divider for the kitchen. And then you can come off of it, making this rectangle here for the pantry. Click let go. Click again. That takes care of the interior of the pantry. And then you should just be able to bring this across here. Now here we have a problem because these things don't line up. So as a result, I'm going to Control-Z or Edit Undo and go back. And we'll just start here. Because remember this plan underneath is a little off from what I'm doing. And now I can line that up. So that's all that. Use the hand tool to move over here. You'd need to take care of these bedrooms down here. This living room here. But I know your plan is probably different than this one. 
that gives you a good start on interior walls. Remember to ignore all the interior doors. Good luck.